100% natural probiotic strawberry soda. It's great for your gut, it's delicious, and it takes only five simple ingredients to prepare. My name is Anastasia Sharola, and welcome to Happy Bellyfish channel. Usually you see this guy cooking here, Shrikant, but today I'm taking over the kitchen. You know, they call me the queen of fermentation at home, and sometimes Shrikant even makes jokes that if I could, I would even pickle his brain. Not a bad idea though. But jokes aside, today we are preparing a fermented soda. It will be very fizzy and we will not need any like fancy ingredients, you know, we will not need those probiotic capsules, no starters, no scoobies. I'll teach you a very secret method to make delicious berry and fruit sodas with very few ingredients that you can get anywhere. We'll be making the soda by following a method that's usually used to prepare a traditional fermented drink called kvass. Normally kvass is made with sourdough, with rice sourdough and honey. And this drink is super refreshing, it's really fizzy, it has good bacteria in it, it's probiotic, but it has a particular flavor because it's made from bread, right? It even resembles beer a little bit. So not everyone loves it. And very few people know that by actually using the kvass method and ingredients, you can also make delicious berry kvasses and fruit kvasses, which are in fact just simple fizzy sodas. And you'll see exactly how we are going to prepare it today. Our main secret ingredient is actually a piece of sourdough bread. The original recipe of kvass, as I said, is made from bread entirely. You literally have this base flavor of bread. And here it's not the case, you will not feel the bread so much. Just a couple of pieces like this for a liter of soda and this will bring the healthy bacteria inside your bottle and this will make sure that nothing will go wrong and in 24, maybe 48 hours, depending on how hot it is in your house, your soda will be ready. And the second secret ingredient is raisins. Of course, you will not need as much as I'm having it here, just maybe five, six pieces of raisins. That's how much you'll need to put in one liter bottle. And this is what will help the bubbles appear in your bottle. If you forget the raisins, then you will probably get a little less bubbles than you would love. You know, they actually create that fizz. What's important is that these raisins need to be organic. Please make sure that they're not treated with anything. And this is a general rule for anything that you ferment. If the things that you use, the vegetables, you know, the bread, the raisins, anything else, fruits, if they were treated with something, if there was a very large use of pesticides, it may interfere with your fermentation. It may stop it and you may not get what you actually expected to get. So try to get hold of raisins that are organic and that are not covered with oil, sugar or anything else. Now that we are done with the science and the secret ingredients, let's get to the process. And the queen of our drink is strawberries. In fact, it can be any berries that you like. And you can also take fruit juices, freshly squeezed, but berries is probably one of the healthiest foods in the world. So what we do for one liter of water, I'm going to take about 300 grams of strawberries. I'll be honest, it's not the season of strawberries, so they are frozen and they just defrosted. Oh my gosh, the smell is amazing. That's why they're very soft, they're not cooked. I'll take 100 grams of sweetener. My sweetener is jaggery, raw natural sugar. I think almost in every video we talk about jaggery. You can use raw sugar, you can actually also use honey, any sweetener. But my favorite flavor comes from the natural sugar. So I'm putting it on top of strawberries. I know it feels like a lot. You can put a little less. This is really up to you. And then we have to mash it together with the berries. Like that. Don't worry, it's not too much sugar because you will be adding water to it, of course. Right now, we are just making the flavor base. I can kind of foresee that you'll ask me a question, ooh, so much sugar, why do you call this drink healthy? It's a treat, okay? I don't expect you to drink like three gallons of uh, soda in one go each day. And another very important thing is that during the fermentation process, the sugar content, especially the longer it ferments, goes down. So part of the sugar is actually eaten by the good bacteria for you and digest it. But I need to tell you that if you're really concerned about sugar in your diet and in this particular drink, you can always reduce this amount. Sugar is not necessary for the fermentation to happen. It is not necessary for this soda to actually become drinkable. But for the flavor of it, yeah, maybe consider adding a bit. The strawberry soup is ready. 
All we need to do now is to leave it aside at least for 15 minutes, but a little bit longer so that the flavors intensify and infuse. And then we'll get to the next step, which is actually going to be already bottling. After 15 minutes, our infusion of strawberry juice is ready. And now we can bottle our soda together with the rest of the ingredients. You will see how simple it is. And by the way, if you want to learn a little more about traditional recipes, fermentation, or how to do delicious and super healthy things in your own kitchen, make sure to hit the subscribe button. So what we're gonna do now, we are going to strain out the juice. Basically, we just need to mix it with water. You could also mix it right away, it doesn't matter. The sugar, of course, goes right here. And then we have to make sure that the most part of our berries actually go through here. If you're not a big fan of manual work, you can also simply put it in a blender and just strain it. This is also an option, but sometimes it's faster to actually do it by hand, like in my case, when you do a very small quantity. And I also love to eat the strawberry leftovers. I mix them with coconut yogurt, and it's one of my favorite healthy desserts. So good. Not sure it will make it to the coconut yogurt. And as you see, it's about just a tablespoon left. It's super delicious, just eat it. And this is our future strawberry soda, which I'll be already enjoying tomorrow, like in 24 hours from now. But for you, it may be a little bit longer. Uh, you'll just have to check and see. It's sometimes ready in 24 hours, sometimes in 48 hours. If it's really cool in your house, like 20 degrees Celsius or something, then it can go up to three days. But basically, that's the most it can take. Let's bottle it. So first, we are just going to drop these pieces of bread inside the bottle. And now our raisins have to go in. And now it's the time to pour over our strawberry juice. Let's use the funnel to make it cleaner. Then carefully, I'm starting with the spoon because, you know, I'm one of those people who always have a disaster. So if I start pouring it right away, it will be all over the place. So I'm going very careful about it. Our soda is ready to start cooking because the bacteria are cooking and doing the job for us. So it's very important, as you can see, I left a little bit of space here and if you don't leave it, there is a big chance that the things are going to blast and you're going to have a firework of your soda in your kitchen. This is really not what we want to have. The fermentation happens really quick here. Things go bubbly very fast because when things ferment, the gas forms and this is what needs space in your bottle. I'm going to seal it. It's a vacuum sealed bottle. And now I'll just keep it in a warm space in this house any space is a warm space and what's important and that you have to check on it so in about 12 hours from now make sure that you <coughs> pop it you may hear the small popping sound or you may not you can even try it but 12 hours usually the things are not ready at all but you have to pop it so that uh, you know the extra gas comes out and things don't blast after 12 hours then you wait another 12 hours and you open it again and you pop it. And here be very careful because after 24 hours, it's possible that it will be already fizzy and full of gas. If you opened it and you think it's not ready, repeat it every 12 hours. And as I said, go up to three days. For me, this bottle will be ready in 24 hours. After the second pop, what I can suggest is that you put it in the fridge for a couple of hours and only then you serve it. I'm going to leave you with this for some time and we'll come back with this bottle in 24 hours and see how it's going to come out. So this is going right here. Bye bye bottle, I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah, mwah. Can't wait to taste you. And while this bottle is fermenting and you're waiting, I know you guys will have a lot of questions about this particular soda or fermentation in general. So just don't be shy, drop them all in the comments. We always reply all the comments on Happy Belly Fish channel. And we also have a lot of videos on this channel about fermentation, the art and science of fermentation. It can also kind of dissolve a lot of confusion from your side. So I'll drop all the links in the description and you can check them out.
By the way, this particular recipe also works perfectly with classic lemonade. For one liter of water, you'll have to take four to six lemons, same proportions of sugar, raisins, and bread. Try it out, it really tastes like a delicious bubbly lemon soda. Okay, it's been 24 hours. I popped this bottle once in between. I'm a little bit scared what's gonna happen now. It's an exciting moment, but I'm always here to open the bottles. What if it blasts? Okay, ready? Let's do it. Wow, look, look, look. How many bubbles? Can you believe that it's all made naturally and that's actually good for you, this soda? That it's a real probiotic soda? There's so many bubbles and it smells divine, just like real strawberry. You can chill it in the fridge before you serve it. Just make sure that the bottle is sealed because otherwise all the bubbles will escape. And then just pour it over some ice, maybe. This is the best drink for this summer. Enjoy.